Welcome to this session called Letter Tiles in the Classroom. I'm Robin Dixon, pre-K through fifth grade ELA social studies consulting teacher, and I will be your guide through this brief training. Let's begin by looking at our learning intentions and success criteria. First, our learning intention is to learn about the new Letter Tiles classroom resource. Our learning intention is also to learn how to use these tiles in the classroom. And you will know you are successful when you can describe the new letter tile resource and list two to three ways the tiles can be used in your classroom. This is what the letter tile packets look like. And you will notice that it says there are 48 double-sided color-coded tiles. One side is capitals and one side is lowercase letters. The consonants are blue and the vowels are red. And you'll notice that there's 48, so there's two of each consonant and vowel. So let's take a moment to see a brief demonstration of how these cards work and to learn about some ways that you can implement these in your classroom. So let's explore these tiles a little more in depth and look at ways that these can be used in your classroom. Again, you will notice that consonants are blue, vowels are red, and you'll notice that one side is lowercase and one side are the capital letters. So we can do lots of work with capitals and lower cases as well. Now, these are going to be great to use in your classroom. You do have the CR success letter boards, but think about how um, those can be cumbersome sometimes when you're trying to use them. Um, if you ever try to use them other than during CR success, we only have one of each letter. So these are gonna be a really exciting addition to your classroom and you can use them for word building. So for example, if I said to kids, I want you to make the word men. You can have them find the letters to represent the word and they can make the word men. I could also say, I want you to spell this word and you can do some work with um, phonemic awareness and you can say, all right, boys and girls, the first word, the first sound in the word is mm. And students would find and move up the M for the M mm sound. All right, boys and girls, the second sound in the word is F. They can pull up their F. And then you can say the third sound in the word is N, men. Now, you could also do the word mean. And you can have um, your students practice building words with vowel teams. So they could do M-E-A-N. So M, E, Mm. So notice that we can also do some work with our vowel teams with these. So we can do word building. We could also do some work with rhyming words. So you can say boys and girls, let's go back to our word men. So boys and girls, if I know the word men, what else rhymes with men? I know P, I know P, and I can change that to pen. I can also do the D for den, the t sound, and make the word ten. So it's an easy way to do some word building with rhyming words. We can also do something called word chaining. So we can say, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to start, I want you to start with the word ten. Now what happens if I change the sound with the mm sound. Now I get men. So boys and girls, what happens if I replace the n sound with the t sound? What do I get now? I get met. Now let's replace the n sound with the ol sound. What word do I get? I get let. So boys and girls, what happens if I add the s sound? What word do I have now? 
let's. So let's replace the e eh sound with the short o sound of ah. What do I get now? Lots. So that is word chaining. So this, that word chaining is a great thing to do with your letter tiles. I can also work on phonics patterns. We talked about this a little bit earlier with EA, but I can do some work with vowel teams, again with AI, and build AI words, or OI words, as in coin. So I can teach phonics patterns with this. Um, also, I can do the, use these letter tiles and use them with the Alconan boxes. So again, if I go back to the word mean, the M would go in box one. The EA would go in box two for the long E sound. And then the N for mean. So I can do some work absolutely with Alconan boxes and my tiles. I can also use my tiles to teach spelling patterns. So again, if I'm working in first grade and I'm working with um, CVC words, and let's say I'm doing CVC words that have E, T, or I'm working with A, T words, they can practice and build their spelling words as well. So great way to practice spelling words. And it's also a great tool to use for practicing writing words. So think about students that you have um, that struggle with writing their words. Could they build their words? If the spelling word is cat and they struggle to, to manually make the C, the A, and the T, could they spell their words using their letter tiles? So lots of great applications uh, with the letter tiles that way. Also, you can use your letter tiles for games and centers, um, word scrambles, a boggle board, alphabet order, letter sounds activities, Scrabble, bingo games. So lots of applications for these letter tiles um, in your classrooms. And again, what's great, again, we have capitals, lower cases, and we have doubles. So I can do the EE -E pattern. And if we take street, I would have an S, a T, an R, E, E, and I would have T. So I could have two T's in the word street. So it's amazing to be able to have two of each letter as you're creating your words. So I just made the word street. So it's awesome because I was able to use two T's and two E's in that word. So these letter tiles are going to be a very valuable resource to add to your classroom. So why are we adding these letter tiles as a resource? Let's spend a minute to look at the benefits of using these letter tiles with your students and in your classroom. First of all, they help to explain reading and spelling concepts clearly by giving them a tangible manipulative to use. We can also help students to continue to learn and to reinforce and distinguish vowels from consonants. We can also help to individualize instruction. So you could have one student working and practicing building CVC words, while another student is working on vowel patterns or digraphs. So you can individualize how you have students use these. It's also an excellent form of formative assessment. You can be watching students and determining if students are learning the concept by how they're manipulating their tiles. Think about how you do that with your CR success boards. Exact same concept. You use that to help drive your instruction for your students individually and as a group. It also gives them the opportunity to play with language. Maybe students want to see, can I have a word that has three E's? Or can I have a word where I have um, E-I, which we know we can. So it gives students an an, a, a low risk way to practice language and letters and sounds and play with language. It helps students who struggle with writing. And finally, it creates strong neural pathways developed through hands-on learning. We know that hands-on learning and manipulating those letter tiles helps to create the pathways that we want in the brain for language. So as we conclude, let's review our learning intentions and our success criteria. 
First of all, did we meet our learning intentions? Did you learn about the new letter tiles resource? Did you learn how to use these tiles in the classroom? Were you successful? Can you describe the new letter tile resource? And can you list two to three ways the tiles could be used in your classroom? Again, I want to thank you for taking uh, the few moments to watch this video and to learn about the new resource that will be um, coming your way. And should you have any further questions or concerns or you would like to reach out and talk further about these letter tiles and using them in your classroom, you can reach me at the email provided on this slide.